And caught on camera hosing down a homeless woman in the city of San Francisco. This video tonight sparking outrage. So she was sitting out front <clears throat> of, an, uh, of an establishment and the owner came out and hosed her down with the hose. This video posted on social media of a man spraying water at a homeless woman in San Francisco on Montgomery Street in the Jackson Square area is sparking outrage and backlash. Now I snapped. And that I apologize for tremendously. There's, that's not my self. He says he allowed her to sleep in his doorway for four days. Gwen and other area business owners tell me they called police multiple times over her disruptive behavior and that they tried to get her help, but that she refused to leave and refused services. He was cleaning the street with a hose and repeatedly asked her to move and became frustrated when she refused. So... You know, you know when when you look at the video, obviously it looks a little bit disturbing. You mm -hmm. know, you got you know, it, and we can, especially as us all being black, we can understand how much discontent we have for white people using hoses on on us like that. That right there is just yeah. it. Just ain't the optics ain't good. I didn't even it's know just, she was black when I watched it's, it. It's just not. It's just not a good look, and it and it definitely brings back. You know, some bad memories. There's a lot of photos and videos out there of that that have been burned into people's memory. And right. It's just, it's just not good. Look at know. his face. His face is saying, "Oh, good old '60s." Right. <laughs> right. <clears throat> and we've all worked with, you know, in venues and stuff like that as security, well, where we've, we've had homeless. definitely had to engage with homeless, right. whether they was homeless that was a combination of the mental, mentally ill, mm -hmm. or addicts. Or just or just homeless. Mm -hmm. This is a hard situation. What I will say, he's wrong for using that hose. A hundred percent. Okay. Like well, that's not something he should have done. What should he have done? I guess that's the question. Um, he should he should have basic he should have had them moved or got the got got police involved to get her moved. So here's away my question. It sounds like they did though, because he mentioned they called the cops, and I've actually even heard a spinoff story where. They arrested her for a week and then put her in a shelter for a week. These are stories. I'm not sure if they're 100% accurate, True. but they, they put her in a shelter, and then, boom, she's right back in the same corner. So it's like, what do you do? Go ahead, Tony. Dive I in. Just, well, What's your question? Now I'm working patrol, so I deal with this all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and he's the owner of an art gallery, right? Right. Or his manager. Which one? Uh, I think it's the owner. He's the owner. Or, or so they, they make money. So here's my thing. Hire security. Mm -hmm. Hire security to have her removed. That's what you do. That's what you're supposed <clears> to do. To hire right. security to have her removed. So less pressure on you and more on the company removing her. Exactly, removing her out. So you know. Well, I mean? you at that point, you're well, as security. You would. Oh, let me ask you this: Would you be using the hose? No, as security, no, we wouldn't. We have so much. So I'm saying yeah. there's different. There's mm -hmm. different ways that we would that we would go about this. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been in situations, and I don't want to put that on this woman because I don't. We don't know. We don't. We don't know the the full context of this. But we've been in situations where. We tell the homeless person leaving. Usually this is dealing with someone who's more mentally ill mm -hmm. or a drug addict. Usually somebody that's just homeless, you don't really have this problem. Okay. But if they are actually mentally ill, which a lot are, right? Um, you, you do have to handle it a little bit differently because it's a situation where they could present a danger to you mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you ain't watching yourself. Right. You know what I mean? So you got you to gotta maneuver that, you know, you know, wisely and mm. in a situation like this it happens a lot especially in downtown areas uh, especially here in sac where it's like okay we gotta we gotta get you out the way if you if you had a venue in front of that all these venues have security have someone there to basically get no one removed but i ain't turned around and took the pressure washer to them no yeah there's little things you can do but ultimately you call the authorities and the authorities will come you know what i mean you being security and you notated that the authorities don't come mm -hmm. you know what i mean so but typically the authorities will come in and have her removed it's actually great because i like to hear the security side of things because truth be told that's what he needed mm -hmm. if he had security i know our art gallery probably doesn't even open those doors every day of the week i'm pretty sure it's maybe once a week once every other week so hiring security to have someone out there you know that constant may not be beneficial for him well just one day <clears throat> ever hire him for one day but Whatever yeah, the day there is an event that makes a lot of sense. Well, we but don't know what his, his situation. schedule is or whatever, what his days of it seems are. It seems repetitive enough to where I would hire security. That that I can say. Yeah, I agree. You know, mm -hmm. If you've already had to do the certain things, which is call the police,
police. He's already doing the things that security's done. He's just taking it one step further, and she's realizing, like, hey, you can't do anything to me. You already sent me to jail. You got me a free meal. You got me cleaned up. Now here I am back on the streets. What can you do now? I feel your pain, sir. I, I feel that you feel like you've ran out of options after trying all those options. I just don't feel like this one was the best one. Yeah, he crossed the line. He, he, I mean, he got to know better. Bro, you fucked up. <coughs> yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. Like, like, like. Let's call it what it is. Like, we can, <clears throat> we can point. We can. Both things can be right. It's a difficult situation. It possibly could be with someone who was difficult. We don't know the the condition of this woman, but we could. What we can speak on is our experience. Right. And I've definitely dealt with some very difficult, mm-hmm. mentally ill, yep. homeless people yeah. mm-hmm. in downtown Sac, where we got we have a job to do to remove you or get you away from the venue who choose not to do it on purpose. Right. And so I can see myself being in a situation similar to his. However, I ain't never turned around and turned no goddamn hoes on him. You got to use better judgment. Right. Like, I just haven't, yeah. like, that's just not what I resorted to. Like, because I looked at it, yes, is, my, is the objective to get you away from the venue? Yes. But what I've also looked at is I'm dealing with a human being. I didn't recognize that it was a black woman, right? It looked like a lady. I honestly assume. It, it, in honesty, it shouldn't even it matter. It shouldn't matter. But, but the fact that it is black, it, it, it adds more fire to the... The, it, and the it, optics are bad. Multiple ways. Multiple ways. Right. Now there's a, there's a riot of people, right? Because obviously we felt some type of way knowing how past history has shown us of people being hoes when people want to speak out, right? Um, it adds a whole different element of now do we feel like this owner is racist and would he have done this to another one, right? He's been getting threats. And I understand that the police are now out there trying to guard the surrounding businesses, but ultimately they came out there because this man's getting threats because he did something wrong, which he knows. And I seen the threat. Dude was like, man, I ought to beat your ass. He was driving by as he was hanging out his door. I ought to beat your ass for doing what you did. You know what I mean? Like they're seriously threatening this dude. Now he has proper security. Now he has proper police to doing what? I'm assuming keeping the street clean. So he did something crazy. He did something that's horribly wrong. But at the end result, he got what he wanted, free security. We'll say this, Warren. You mentioned something huge. Uh, We kind of brushed over it. The homeless situation. Yeah. The homeless people have their own population. And they've already funded millions, of, if not, I think 17 million, 17 billion in just in California alone. Some crazy number. Don't quote me on that. Just in homeless shelter. And I know that they're trying to improve of what's going on. And I've seen certain efforts, especially when they were getting uh, they were building the Doco new arena. Right. Golden One Center. They had a they had a home. We had a homeless issue. We I will, have a homeless issue. We still do. It's just, Not like Frisco in L.A., but right. we have one. We do. But it, it's just like, you know, what do we do? You know, they, they have all this funding available, but even with all the funding available, if people aren't taking advantage of it, what are we really doing? Well, you got to look at it, too, from it's not just homeless. So you got, mm-hmm. like, there is, cat, categories mean something. Mm-hmm. And in the sense of the people that are out on the street, not every single person that's out on the street homeless, that term being just without a place to live. You also got to think that there's a huge bulk of them that are not mentally there. Mm -hmm. So you, so that's a different aspect. So you're not dealing with someone that's thinking logically or rationally, you know, about like, Oh, you know, we want to help you because a rational person would be like, yeah, I want, I'd love for you to help me. I want to get off these streets and, and, you know, get work while I can get, you know, put a roof over my head. That's the logical thing. And that's only a certain percentage. But California is dealing with an issue when it comes to homeless just in general. I know we, you know, staggering off a little bit. But, bro, other states be bussing people here. Literally. Nevada is one of the worst ones. Mm-hmm. They be bussing people here. They take a bus of homeless and they bus them here. And the, re- and the difference is, the reason why California has such a big issue is because of that fact, the busing That's part. That's crazy. I ain't know about all that. The other part is, is because the weather conditions here are conducive for you to live on the streets. I'm sorry, if you homeless in Chicago, oh, you you living bad. You gone, gone. You living bad because you ain't got no choice. Mm-hmm. That cold will make your ass go get a job. That cold, that's a whole other <clears throat> yeah. different type of environment. 